from our generation. Oh, it's on. <laughs> Hi, world. lovely bathroom, our favorite room of the house, right? Wrong. Also one of the worst rooms of the house to clean and keep organized. It is nighttime right now, so I'm in my pajamas. Go get some fuzzy sack, grab yourself a drink, whether it be coffee, pop, water, in this case a beer, and get ready to organize with me. We're gonna tackle messes of bathroom drawers. I've been wanting to do this for months and I have not done it and been miserable with the conditions of my bathroom for the sake of making this video. So here we are today. Before I do a project like this, I always make sure to have a trash can because we're gonna have a lot of garbage to throw away. So I actually have a second trash can for backup. Then you're gonna need your choice in color, style, organizing tools. So all of these things that I'm showing you right here are from good old Dollar Tree. These things, um, I actually have green ones all over the house. When it comes to cleaning, my brain just thinks green equals clean. And so I settled with getting these and they were in each of my bathroom cabinets and under the kitchen sink. And I hate it. I have learned something about myself that I do not like color when it comes to organizing. I just find that the more colors and the more brightness and rainbowy things that you have, the more cluttered your room looks. And I just need a more calm, serene, peaceful situation. So I bought three new bins in white to replace all my green ones because you're gonna see at the end of the video it makes a huge difference. Also when doing these projects I suggest some type of basket or bin to put all of the things that you're gonna be removing that you don't want in this room at all. So instead of making multiple trips back and forth to the room or throwing all these things in the hallway, grab a basket, make one trip at the end of the night. And lastly, I always, no matter what I do, one of the drawers is filled solely with my husband's shaving equipment and I know I'm going to find billions of hairs. Disgusting. So I would suggest grabbing your cleaner, a little spray bottle, to be cleaning up the goop and the disgustingness that we're gonna find. I would make sure that your counter is cleared off. There's gonna be a lot of taking things out and having to find a place to set them. As you can see here, my space is very tight. So before you start, make sure the room is pretty much for the most part already clean and tidy so that your job is easier in the end. I do like Marie Kondo's tips to clean everything out before you put it back in, but I am gonna do one drawer at a time. Rather than taking everything out of here and piling things up on the counter and overwhelming myself, because I've done this in the past where I start organizing the night before and then something happens where I will not be able to finish this task and then I have an overwhelming amount of things out for the next morning. We can't brush our teeth or take a shower comfortably. Take it easy and contain the mess. Let's get to it. All right, so grab a stool. Your girl has not even started going through these cabinets and my knees are killing me. My butt is in pain. I'm only 28 years old, guys, but I'm very crickety. Should probably be tip number one. If you don't want to use white or neutral bins and you would rather use colorful things, that is great if it makes you happy. What I would suggest is maybe stick with one color throughout all your drawers. That way everything looks more uniform. All of the items that you're putting in these bins are already very colorful, so that will make it look less busy. One of my number one tips ever, ever for organizing, this is how serious I am about it, never keep boxes. Get rid of them. Tampons don't need to sit in a box. Dump them. You don't need instructions. You should know how to do it by now. Look at this. They fit perfectly. Beauty and the Beast. Whew, this is much better. When it comes to baskets, as you can see, this 
basket is more narrow on the bottom than it is on the top. So once you put it in the cabinet, you're wasting this much space. I would suggest buying baskets that are the same width from top to bottom. It's gonna fit perfectly in there. You're not wasting any side space. It's not gonna be wobbling everywhere. And you are utilizing all the space that you possibly could to organize. I have so many lotions and perfumes and I wear the same ones every day. This is why you gotta organize your spaces because then you see all of the crap that you have and maybe now I'll use it. The joys, the joys of cleaning. Bag? No, mm -mm. get rid of it. Get rid of the bag. Look at how much less space you're taking up. Get rid of the garbage. I'm gonna keep this because there's still some of this cream in here and I know that I really, really like this stuff. But on a professional level, I would say, throw it away, you don't need it. But I know that I will use it, so I'm keeping it. Okay, okay, that's cute. Why is there one bath bomb in the back? <laughs> Boxes, taking up space. Look how much less space this is. Wow, I thought that was like 10 masks in here and I open it up and I realized there's only two bath bombs. You don't need it guys, you don't. Although, ugh, I did just run out of my eyebrow pencil today. Literally today, this would serve me much purpose. Just throw it away, just throw it away Jen. I need eyebrows tomorrow, I'm keeping it on the sink for literally the morning, and then I'm throwing it away. Underwear. Apple cider vinegar, keep a bottle of this handy on you. Bathtub, tablespoon. One word, UTI. One word, cured. I personally do not like toothbrush holders. I wish they would stop making them. I don't want my toothbrush sitting out on the counter absorbing poop particles, soap, spit from other people brushing their teeth. I want it tucked away and hidden. Also, it makes your counters look really nice and neat. This, for me, is what works best. If you don't have one of these, buying a little toothbrush holder and setting it on a shelf or in a cabinet or in a medicine cabinet away would be my suggestion. Okay, so now I'm gonna move to this middle cabinet here. Sorry for the bad lighting. As you can see, all of my stuff is in here just taking up this first little shelf here. And I have more than an arm's length worth of space that I could be using. For some reason, I haven't been taking advantage of the vertical space in here. So I'm going to use this shelf that was not working in other areas of my home for this cabinet. Also, I have this hanging in my bathroom cabinet. It used to be on the outside here for um, hand towels, but I found that I just think it looks cluttered. I bump into it all the time, it hits my knees. You can hang it on the inside and put a hand towel there. What I use it for is I hang all of my little homemade cleaning products. I do make a homemade cleaner probably less than once a month. It lasts me a long time and it saves me a crap ton of money. I have one of these in my kitchen, holding all of my cleaners rather than wasting the space on a shelf. You're utilizing the extra storage space by hanging it and keeping it out of the way. If there's a mess in the bathroom or somebody is coming over last minute, you could just run to the bathroom and open up the cabinet and there's some cleaning products that you can spiffy up your counters in a jiffy because it's all already here. building I used this utensil holder in my kitchen for my spatulas and when I got this house I couldn't part with it this was also a wedding gift so since it was cute and I knew that I would be able to use it somewhere else I just kept it don't throw away your items that you're no longer using if you think that there's another place that you can use it in your house
for ease of mind, it would be nice to have one extra roll of toilet paper at the bottom of the sink that you don't look at every day, you don't see it, you forget about it, but when you really need it, it's gonna be there for you. It's okay to have empty space. You don't need to fill up every area of your house with things. The reason I don't have so much is because I don't need so much. One of the most satisfying things is to purge and declutter and get rid of things that you do not need to keep in your house. For example, my baby eyeliner and that tiny little tub of lotion, but on a normal basis, I would get rid of it because it's just accumulating and causing oh, stress in your life. <laughs> if you're running low on your face lotion, just buy a new one. You're gonna need it anyways, right? The things that you do have, utilize all the space that you possibly can. I don't want to reach all the way to the back of my bathroom cabinet to get my cleaning products and grab it when I need it and not be digging through a mess. Lord help us all, I'm about to get to John's cabinets. You know what? I need this. Oh dear God. Okay, so do the worst part first. Say I didn't have enough time tonight to finish this entire bathroom. The next day, I am not gonna wanna come and start off first things first in the worst drawer of all. Get it out of the way. The rest of the time that you're organizing your bathroom or your bedroom or whatever room that you're in, it's going to be a breeze and less stressful. You don't have to think about, I gotta get to this drawer at some point. I didn't follow my own advice and start with the hardest part first, but that is normally what I do and what I would suggest. With that being said, let's jump and learn. It is literally just filled with hair. Some Jolly Ranchers and a beer koozie and some wallpaper. And did I mention Jolly Ranchers? Oh, your wife's razor that you have defiled. Oh, yum. It's stuck. This is clearly the old shower handle. Broken. We don't need it. Unnecessary. Why would you have Jolly Rancher in the bathroom? I might as well just freaking finish the job. Hardest part first. There's two specks. You think I can live with two specks in there? No. <laughs> okay, I can live with one speck. Or can I? <laughs> I can't, I gotta get rid of it. I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, he does have his own razors. He just chooses to use mine. There you have it. Everything is much neater and organized and clean for that matter. Everything's in its home where it needs to be. Nothing's rolling around freely or in my way for when I need to grab things quickly. Leave me a comment below if this inspired you to organize your bathroom. Trust me, it feels amazing. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You know what to do. All the buttons. Click them. Subscribe. Love you guys. Later.